hey guys it's lady alicia welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing a blue christmas set now you guys can see i've already went ahead and glued on the artificial um nail tips or nail bed onto the practice hand and now i am going to go ahead and add the tips on cut them down and also remove the shine off of the nails what i'm doing right here is i am measuring the nail tips to make sure that i have the right size and then after i have measured everything then i'm going to go in with my sanding band and remove the shine off of the um, artificial nail tips and then i am going to glue on the nail tips After I've glued on the nail tips, of course, we're going to cut them down to the length of our liking. And then after cutting them down, I'm going to go ahead and take my sanding band and remove the shine off of the tips and also blend where that line meets with the artificial nail bed and the nail tip. So for some reason, I lost the footage of me actually applying the acrylic, but this is what these females are looking like after I have applied the acrylic. And now I'm going to go ahead and file, um, reshape the nail and um, take my e-file and just file down the bulk of it, even though it looks really, really thin, but obviously you guys see that it's not really even. This application was not the best. Um, I was kind of rushing for some reason, but that's why it looks like that but we're gonna we're gonna make it look nice and smooth okay okay so after filing and shaping these are what the nails are looking like so now it is time for the design i'm going to be doing all of the nails are going to be french um so we're going to do three of the um, nails are going to be blue and then one nail is going to be white with a sweater design so that's what i am doing right now i'm taking this pretty pretty blue um that of course i picked up from amazon these are gel polishes of course link to all of the products that i use will be down below in the description box and link to my amazon storefront Alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and do these um, French nails and I'll be back.
So now I'm applying some matte top coat because I am going to be doing some glitter and also doing a sweater design. Um, so I need all of the nails to be matte. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm curing. After curing the nails, I am taking my hand file to just file down the tip of the nail or the free edge, or whatever you want to call this, um, just to make sure that everything is nice and clean and crisp. Um, that way I don't have to do that after I do or finish the design because I'm not going to be applying any other top coat. Um, I'm just going to apply the glitter and the um, acrylic for the sweater design and then that is it. Now for the sweater design, it's pretty simple. I have videos of me doing sweater designs um, on here. I've done a lot of sweater designs for this Christmas season. So just doing two lines along the middle and then um, doing kind of like a Z type design in the actual middle. And then on the sides of the nails, I'm doing some diagonal lines and then I'm not curing. Um, and then I am putting some acrylic either clear acrylic or white acrylic um i believe i chose clear acrylic um before curing um that way it can have that sweater look or that type of texture and then after i apply the acrylic then i am curing Now for the blue French nails, I'm going to be doing two of those are going to be snowflakes and then the other one is going to be a candy cane design. Um, so on the pinky finger and I believe on the middle finger, I'm doing a can uh, uh, not a candy cane. I'm doing a snowflake design. Um, it's pretty simple. I have videos of me doing snowflakes design as well. Um, just doing a bunch of dots and then I'm going to be dragging out the line to create that snowflake effect. Then I went ahead and added some smaller dots to make it seem like snow is falling, of course, because when we think of Christmas, we think of winter, we think of snow, icicles, pretty. So that's what I did. And then I did not cure, as you guys saw. I went ahead and added that white glitter, tapped off the excess, and then did a full cure. Now for the pointer finger, I'm doing the candy cane design. Um, this one was a little bit more tedious. Um, it was pretty simple to do, but I just had to make sure that the lines were lining up um, and that way I don't mess up the actual smile line of the for the French design. Um, so as you guys can see right here, although it is sped up, this actually took me a good 10 minutes to do um, just for this finger because I needed to make sure that the lines were lining up, okay? Um, I believe I had to wipe it off and do it again. I'm not sure if I actually showed that clip, but I definitely had to wipe it off and do it again because I didn't really like the end result. Um, so this is the actual clip where I, <laughs> I actually did a good job. So went ahead and did that. Obviously I went ahead and added some glitter and then I went ahead and did a full cure. But then after I did that, I realized that I didn't even connect the other side. So I had to go back in and um, go ahead and do the design and then add the glitter and then cure it again. But these are the final results, you guys. I hope you guys really liked it. It was pretty simple, pretty easy. Definitely have a Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful holiday. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Always remember, of course, to stay beautiful. Bye, guys.